so good. So good. So good. So good. Delicious grilled Greek kebabs here at Barbecue My Way. Let's get rolling. All right, so here we go. We need to do roughly a quarter to a third cup of lemon juice, a quarter cup of olive oil, and a quarter cup white wine vinegar. If you don't have white wine vinegar, you could use white rice vinegar. Uh, you could even use white distilled vinegar. That wouldn't be such a bad thing either. It's just the tartness that you're looking for. Alrighty. And of course you need some garlic. So we're going to chop up some cloves of garlic here. I like to get this chopped up pretty finely because I think the more surface area you expose to the fluid, the more garlic flavor you get. Now, if you don't have fresh garlic, granulated garlic is the next best, and then garlic powder. And look, to look for the proper ratios or you could overpower it pretty quickly. All right now it's spice time. We're going to do a teaspoon of cumin. Pretty powerful stuff. Don't want to go over what they suggest. Teaspoon of uh, dried leaf oregano. Roughly a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Quarter to a half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter to a half a teaspoon of uh, coarsely ground black pepper. Get all this stuff stirred up. And we've got roughly two pounds, pound and a half, two pounds of uh, chicken that I've already uh, cut up into bite-sized pieces about inch, inch, eh, inch and a half thick in a Ziploc bag. Add the marinade, zip it up almost all the way, leaving a little bit of room there for air. Push out the air. Get it as tight as you can. Mix it around. Get all that dispersed in there. You see all the garlic, mm. all the herbs. Just make sure it gets fairly well dispersed. And we're going to put it, put it into a cake um, porcelain container. It's going into the fridge. It'll be ready in two hours. All right, so it's been about two hours, two and a half hours, and here's what we have in terms of the chicken. Skewered uh, some zucchini and uh, tomatoes and mushrooms, and those will be simply brushed with olive oil and a salt, pepper, garlic. Make sure it'll be sprinkled onto them. And when you use the, uh, the wooden skewers, you want to make sure and soak them for roughly 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I try to go an hour just so they don't burn when you're grilling. And one of the things that's a pet peeve of mine is when you go to a supermarket and you see skewers of food that has vegetable chicken or beef and then vegetable whatever, totally the wrong way to do it. You want to keep everything separate because every, every food, every ingredient has a different cooking time. So let's start skewering a few pieces of chicken. There's really not too much to the chicken except one area, one, one pet, another pet peeve that I notice with folks is we've just put on the first skewer there. A lot of people try to cram as much meat on as they can and they'll like squish it up as tight as they can which creates different cooking times between the meat or creating more density that's going to really mess up the cooking time. So when you put them on you want them snugly positioned, but you don't want to squish them together. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll see you at the grill. All right, now the chicken goes on. And with the zucchini, I'm going to lay it on and hit it. Some olive oil. Anytime you get flaming on a regular charcoal grill, you can just put the lid on and that kind of squelches that. And some seasoning that's basically salt, pepper, and garlic, granulated garlic. Nice char on it. And the next step, tomatoes, 
and mushrooms, which will take the least amount of time to cook. So you can see we're getting a little bit of flame up from that olive oil. Hit that with that garlic salt pepper. Just to squelch it just a bit and to create a little bit more of a oven-like cooking condition. I'll put the lid on for maybe three minutes or so. All right, it's been about uh, three minutes. Had that nice little oven effect. Tomatoes and the mushrooms, and we're just gonna nestle them up on in there. I'd say the zucchini are getting pretty darn close. You don't want to overcook the zucchini to the point where they turn into mush. You want a little bit of a little bit of bite to them, a little bit of kick to them. Chicken's getting really close. You can just tell by the firmness. I'd say the chicken's probably been on now for oh, 12 minutes, I'm guessing. What you can start doing too that I've noticed works nicely. You can actually kind of start stacking the chicken to give you more surface area because it's still cooking. Now we're going to get those mushrooms and tomatoes cooked. Stacking the asparagus off to the side, or I mean the uh, zucchini off to the side. You can tell it's starting to get pretty tender, so we're going to be pulling those here pretty much now. See how good that looks? awesome all right the tomatoes are done because they're starting to actually kind of pop a little bit so we're going to pull the tomatoes all right so liz is taking it apart piece by piece and then what we'll do is we're going to serve it on a bed of brown rice it's going to be delicious liz give me a thumbs up so good so good. So good.